Hey, horror fans, once again, it's the Horror Miser. My name Gene. Today, we're going to talk about last night's episode of American Horror Story Cult. Now, basically, we start off the episode with uh, Vincent approaching Kai's home, surrounded by those weird-looking dudes, whatever you want to call them. I guess they're his personal bodyguards, and we find out whether or not that Vincent really doesn't know what Kai's planning. We thought we did, but he really doesn't. Vince feels kind of sad because he didn't uh, visit Kai in the hospital, and uh, he apologizes for him, but Kai, being the manipulative bastard that he is, says, from now on, you call me councilman. Kill the opening credits! So, after the opening credits, we are back to the butchery, and uh, Ivy is serving his uh, Kai's army at breakfast, and they're making very rude comics to her saying that she'd be more bangable if she would smile more. And the women contingent of the of the cult seem to be more than uh, servants to the men, which does not make any of them happy, especially Beverly. Uh, she feels as though that uh, it's time to cut the head off the snake, as she says so uh, vehemently, using the uh, smut campaigns as a motivation. And uh, she tells, Beverly, uh, tells uh, Winter, that you cannot trust your brother. But uh, Winter says, but he helped save my life one time. I have to be loyal to him. He's just going through a phase. Then we get a flashback. I believe the flashback happened back in uh, 19... He had a flashback uh, where they were when, when they were internet trolls. And they eventually uh, come up to this place called Judgment House. They get invited to this place called Judgment House. And this weird preacher uh, invites them in, and it looks like, and uh, they get to this place that looks like traps that Jigsaw would be proud of. They see this pregnant woman uh, sitting in some stirrups. Well, not a pregnant woman, some woman in some stirrups. Kai thinks it's just an odd act, but he finds out that the blood is real, and the woman supposedly had an abortion. That this guy is supposed to be punished because he was a drug addict. And this other guy, because he thinks the guy is gay. Kai saves all of the people, and he puts the preacher in his own trap, and he kills him after revealing that the woman was not getting an abortion. The guy was was actually going in recovery, and the guy that this was not gay. He was there to help. He was a volunteer for an AIDS clinic, so he kills the preacher. And Winter says that's when Kai changed, and she said he helped save her life because the preacher wanted to take Winter for his own nefarious purposes, but Kai uh, captures him, kills him, and puts him in a trap where the um, guy that's supposed to have been gay would have been killed, but he kills the preacher instead, and Winter said that's where Kai changed. So Beverly says, okay, you get a week, but after that, he's mine. So uh, we switch all over, and next thing you know, um, we get a scene with uh, Allie. We haven't seen Allie in a while. It appears as though she's been locked up in a single asylum, well, actually in a psych ward, after the supposed attempt on Kai's life. Uh, her and Vincent are in her house, and uh, Vincent admits to uh, Allie that uh, Kai and Winter are his, are, their, are his brother and sister. And it doesn't take Allie long to figure out that that uh, Kai, that uh, she told him all her phobias, and that that's what Kai used for all her phobias. Vincent makes the excuse that Kai might have broken into his office and read his files. So uh, they come to the conclusion that maybe Kyle's going off the deep end, and Vincent said he is going to do what he can to get Kai to back off and probably report him and send him to a Santa Asylum. I don't think that might bode well for Vincent. Meanwhile, uh, Winter and Kai have their little pinky power thing where uh, Kai has some weird, weird thing for Winter. He wants her to have a baby because he says we have to make our family grow. We're going to make one. He wants to impregnate Winter. That's weird. But he's not going to do it. He's going to get Detective Samuels to do it. And they're going to have some type of a, a huge ceremony. The next scene, we see them in robes and... The whole place is decked out with candles, and unfortunately for Samuels, he uh, fortunately can't get an erection. Uh, for some reason, he can't get a erection. It gets to the point that Winters is just disgusted with, uh, with the uh, whole situation. Phil is told he's raping her, raping her, and uh, she backs out of the whole deal. As for punishment, 
uh, Kai has her cleaning up the uh, things with aluminum cans, but tells her to dump it because he doesn't believe in global warming. Warming, And uh, we see Samuel feeding her. And then we get an interesting flashback with Samuel. Uh, turns out that when Kai was still pushing before Kai became Kai, he was pushing prescription drugs, and Detective Samuel caught him and uh, told him that you're going to be my bitch, and you're going to give me half of your money. Kai goes in the hand and goes back to her apartment with half the money, but then sees that uh, Kai is trying to have sex with a woman, but he can't. Woman runs out, and then Kai confesses that the fact that for some reason he just can't have sex with women, even though he's a very handsome man, if you want to call him handsome, I don't know. I'm pretty sure the, the women who watch this show, but I guess you might consider him handsome, I don't know. So he can have any woman that he wants, anytime, but for some reason he just can't do it. Kai says that, you know what, you don't want women because they take your power away from you. You need to take your power back. You need to be with men. But Samuel says, but I'm not gay. Uh, Kai says, but you're not gay. You're taking your power back. And then they supposedly have, and uh, Kai has sex with him. And that's how uh, Samuel's, that's how Kai turns Samuel's. And he's been uh, devoted to Kai ever since. He decides that, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do what Kai wants, and I'm going to impregnate you. This gets into a fight between her and Winter. Winter takes the gun from Samuel. Uh, she says, that's it. I had enough. I'm not going to take this shit anymore. You're a turd. Say turd. Samuel curses her out. Next thing you know, blam! Blow his head is blown to smithereens, and R.I.P. Samuel. Then we get another brief scene back in uh, Allie's home. Uh, next thing you know, we get a visit from Kai and his two um, uh, bodyguards. It seems like uh, Allie has invited Kai to her house while she's fixing Sloppy Joe as they come to an agreement uh, that uh, in return to her turning, uh, getting information about what Vincent told her, that Kai's going to help her get custody back of Oz. You remember Oz? You know, the little kid? Yeah, Ivy and, uh, Ivy and Allie's son. Uh, guess we forgot about old Oz, huh? Yep. Uh, that she's going to, uh, he, that if she tells her what Vincent told her, Kai will help her get Oz back. Hmm, interesting. We'll deal with, we'll come back to that later. Uh, once that scene is over, we're finally back in Kai's basement, and he commands the betrayers to come forth. And we see uh, Beverly and Vincent. Uh, Vincent is scared out of his wits. Doesn't know what's going on. Said he always believed in Kai. Uh, he said, hey, look, I was the one that gave you the pinky power. So they decided to do the pinky power again. Unfortunately, Kai snatches off his uh, his uh, pinky with a knife and slashes his throat and kills his own brother. Oh, man. So much for Vincent. That was up to Beverly. Uh, Beverly. Um, it was up to Beverly. Kai tells her he's very disappointed. We were supposed to be equal. And the fact that you killed Samuel is a total betrayal. What? How did that happen? How did he he actually believe that Beverly killed Samuel? Well, we see a scene later that Winter told Kai that it was Beverly that killed uh, Samuel. Some of the, some of the uh, we see a scene where uh, they're talking in the car, which not truly did happen. The next thing you know, boom! It was Beverly that killed Samuel and said, "Your brother's next." But Kai doesn't kill. Uh, this uh, fortunately allows uh, Beverly to go into a tirade. She said, calls Kai weak, crazy, nuthead. And if you actually gonna believe your your sister, then you're worse and you're weaker than I thought. But Kai doesn't decide to kill Beverly. He decides to lock her up in the isolation chamber, whatever that's supposed to be. And then we also see that there are more clowns than there normally is. And Kai says, "Hey, it's time to introduce our new member." And is no other than Ali. Oh my God! What's happening now? Now, unlike last week's episode, where I didn't see BB uh, helping out Kai in the last week's episode, I actually saw that coming. That did not surprise me that she would join Kai's cult. Uh, obviously, this creates a very interesting situation between the Ivy and Ali. I would like to see their dramatic playoff against each other now because obviously she's fighting to get custody of Oz and so has Ali, I mean Ivy. That's the only reason why she joined the cult because she was pissed off at uh, Ali. 
So it's pretty interesting uh, dramatic here. Uh, as far as the rest of the show is concerned, it's not, not as good as the last two episodes has been. I mean, we do get some more great uh, acting from uh, Evan Peters. Once again, does a great job uh, on the show. Uh, obviously, whatever his end game is for this cult and what his plans are, we really don't know. Now, as far as Beverly is concerned, do you th I don't know if this is a 52 fake out as he did with Metal uh, when supposedly he had supposedly tossed her out of the cult, but that was all planned. I don't know if this is a 52 fake out or if this is actually real. We really don't know. We never know with Kyle because there's so many twists and turns or and what his actual end game is. So, my horror fans, what do you think about last night's episode of uh, American American Horror Story Cult? Did you ex did you see that coming with uh, uh, Ali now becoming the part of the cult, or did that surprise you? Did you see that coming like I did? Uh, what do you think about uh, Kai killing his own brother? Uh, will he actually find out that Winter lied to him and she was the one that killed Samuel? What that's going to lead to? Uh, leave your comments down in the comment section and let me know what you thought about this episode and how you really enjoyed the season. I'm pretty sure most of all the people uh, have enjoyed it. A lot of people tell me this is uh, American Horror Story's best season yet, and I do agree this is his best season yet. Like I said, thought the episode was a little not as good as it has been for the prior weeks, but still good enough uh as we get as we coming down to the winding weeks of the end of american horror story cult so that's my video for today i hope you guys really enjoyed it and if you did please hit that thumbs up button and share as well as and also share as well too if this is your first time here please hit that subscriber button and ring that bell that way you can become part of the horror experience with me the horror miser money g and as usual, all my social media links will be down in the description below as well. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Lettergram, and Instabox. Once again, my name is Lamont Smith, better known as the Horror Miser Monty G. And always remember, horror rules.